Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Rebecca. But if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So today's video is based on one of the most frequently asked questions, which is how to know if medical school is for you. You won't be 100% sure of any decisions that you make in life, but here are some questions that you can ask yourself to help you strengthen your decision to enter medical school. The first question that you would like to ask yourself is what are your interests and have you explored them well? So I would strongly encourage you guys to list down all of the things that you like to do and also to try them out. Medicine is not the only thing that I like to do in life. I have many other interests as well. Some of my other interests are like acting, dancing, business. I would say that I'm quite fortunate because I get to try out all of my other interests. So for example, when I was 14 years old, I auditioned at JYP Entertainment to become a K-pop singer because I really really love dancing. I know that I like dancing very much and I like to be on stage. But after auditioning, I also knew that being a K-pop idol was just not suitable for me because I had eczema. Being a K-pop idol would be very difficult and I'm not skinny so I would have a hard time dieting so stuff like that. But other than that, my other interest beside medicine was to do business. I sold tons of things in high school like chocolate, desserts, clothing, a lot of things. But after trying to do business, I knew that that wasn't my main interest. I like medicine more than doing business. So yeah, if you have the opportunity, try out different things so that you will know which one to make as your lifelong career. Second question that you like to ask yourself is why do you want to become a doctor? The journey to become a doctor is very very difficult. You will have to study a lot, you have to sacrifice a lot. So there are a lot of things that can easily make you burn out. You really really have to know why you want to become a doctor. Are your family members pushing you to become a doctor? Maybe you are born in a family that has a lot of doctors. They are pressuring you to become a doctor. Is that the reason why you're pursuing medicine? Is it because of money? So I wouldn't be ashamed to say that one of the reasons why I choose to become a doctor is because of money but that shouldn't be the main reason why you're becoming a doctor you know because there are other alternatives for you to earn a lot of money in a shorter period of time that could be one of the reasons why you're becoming a doctor but that shouldn't be the main reason for it you really have to know the main reason why you want to become a doctor the main reason why I want to become a doctor is because I want to be a dermatologist well this might change in the future but I really really wanted to become a dermatologist since I was young just because I had a lot of skin problems. That kind of inspired me to become a dermatologist. The third question that you like to ask yourself is are you ready to fully commit your time to medical school? When you're in medical school, most of your time will be taken up by just studying. So you will have long hours of studying. So if you have been following me for a while now or you have watched my other videos, you will know that on average, I study for 12 hours and sometimes even more. That is a lot of studying. I'm not saying that you're only studying in medical school. Obviously, you will have some time to do your hobbies as well. It's just that you will have lesser time than your friends. Your non-medical school friends will obviously have more time than you to go out for a holiday or to even do the things that interest them. So just think about it. Are you ready to be in that situation or are you not? Other than having long hours of studying and having lesser time to do things that interest you, you will also graduate much slower compared to your friends who are not in the medical field. So in Malaysia, MBBS takes 5 years and it's one of the longest course. Most of my friends only take 3 years to study before they graduate with a degree. They will be graduating 2 years earlier than me. So if graduating early is your priority, maybe you should reconsider taking medicine because it's a long journey. So the fourth question that you like to ask yourself is can you handle stress well? Medical school is filled with stress. There's a lot of things that you need to do in a short period of time, like everything is crammed together. So I specifically talk about stress in medical school in my other videos. So if you want to check it out, you can click the link over here. So basically in medical school, you will have tons of lectures to review and you will have back to back examinations. So for my medical school, I think I have one exam per month. The time constraint is real. I have to rush and I have to be able to know how to manage my time well. If I slack a little bit, I'll be so behind. So the fifth question that you should ask yourself is do you have the money for it? So this is a really really important question that you should ask yourself because studying medicine is really really expensive. I knew itself the cost of studying medicine is already about 500000 and this does not include your books, 
this does not include your living expenses. I also made a specific video on how much does medical school really cost like tuition fees, your living expenses, your medical books and stuff like that. You might want to check that video out to know the estimated budget to study medicine in Malaysia. But basically studying medicine is really really expensive but there are ways to help you fund your medical school. You should really ask yourself if you have the money to study medicine or are you willing to put yourself in debt because if you take loans to fund your medical school you are gonna be in debt and also are you putting in a lot of effort to search for ways to help to fund your medical school so those are the five questions that you should ask yourself to know if medical school is really for you hope that by asking yourself those five questions you would come to a decision you wouldn't be 100% sure of the decisions that you make in life but probably it will help you be 85% to 90% sure so we have come to the end of the video I'm so sorry if it's a little bit noisy because I'm actually on a staycation and yay! I'm on my staycation with my sisters in Cameron Highland. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really hope you enjoy it and I really hope that you gain something from the video. So don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Insects are coming out ladies.